What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to dial in timing on the Honda four-cylinder engine equipped with an external distributor. So whether you have an F22, H22, B16, B18, or whatever engines are left out, the process is all the same. This procedure is relatively simple, it doesn't take too much time. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the tools required for setting timing on your Honda motor, there's going to be a 12 minute ratchet with an extension, 10 millimeter ratchet, jumper wire, and a 12 millimeter wrench. And last but not least, you're gonna need a timing light. And how this timing light gets connected is you've got this clamp right here, and this will clamp onto the number one spark plug wire. You got a red clamp, this will go onto the positive battery post, and a black clamp that will go onto the negative battery post. Now the first steps in the engine bay, we're gonna take our 10 millimeter ratchet and take off these four bolts, which will then expose our spark plug wires. And then we're gonna go with the transmission here and we're gonna take this rubber plug and just pull it straight out. You wanna reach down there when the engine's hot. Set your plug to the side. And now the next step of this process is we need to start this motor. We need to get it to operating temperature there's no need to record this and bore you, so let me go ahead and warm this engine up. Warmed up the engine for a few minutes, and we're up to normal operating temperature. Took off the spark plug wire cover, so I can see where the number one spark plug wire goes to. So basically, I'm gonna follow this line right here. And right down here, that's the number one spark plug. So over here in the passenger side kick panel, this is your diagnostic plug right here. Go ahead and jump it with a paper clip. And what this does, this will prevent the ECU from trying to adjust the fuel curve and readjust timing while we're adjusting the timing manually. So go ahead and plug this in, obviously with the car off. And since we traced the number one spark plug wire, which is this one right here, closest to the driver's side, just go ahead and unplug this from the distributor because we need to connect this to the timing gun. And inside the timing light, we have this little plug right here. So we basically need something to clip onto for exposed spark plug wire. So I'll go ahead and plug this into the distributor. Looks like this one's been used quite a while. So I'm gonna take some flathead screwdriver, pry this open just a little bit. Now, once we pulled this rubber plug off the engine block, we've got this tab right here that's sticking out and you can see there's an indentation and that's what we're gonna be paying attention to when we shine the timing light down into this cavity. So let's go ahead and start this motor up and we'll give a demonstration of this timing light. All right guys, we've got the plywood turning, looking at that tab. We've got the timing gun right here. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the trigger.
it's a little hard to see on camera, but we're gonna basically turn that distributor and see if we can get that flashing lined up with that tab right there. So let me go ahead, put the camera down, and show you guys what I'm gonna do here. Okay guys, all right guys, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and shine the time light down in that cavity. I got it dialed in. I went ahead and tightened up the two top nuts on the stripper so it wouldn't move. Let me see if I can show you on camera. All right, there it is guys. This is the best camera angle I can show you. You can see that black mark is right on the indentation, that tab right there. So we are good to go with the timing aspect on the H22. Let's go ahead and shut the motor off and put everything back together. So what we can do, go ahead and shut the motor off, put the spark plug cover back on, tighten up the distributor, put the spark plug wire number one back in position, and take the time lot off, and go to the ECU, and take that jumper pin off. So let's go ahead and take care of this. That wraps up the process for setting timing on the Honda engine with an external distributor. Now, if you guys have any questions on this process, please feel free to comment below. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. For channel updates, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Have a great day.